Honey, when did you say the family should be here again? Scroll up. I send you all the details. Okay, let me do that. I just need to make sure that everything is ready before they get here. Okay, good. The house better be very clean. And the grass is overgrown in the garden. I need you to trim it neatly. Got it? Yes, it is just a lot. Thanks to the wind yesterday and someone leaving the patio door open. This house is so dusty. I am tired of finding dust in every corner of the house. Why do you keep insisting that it was me who left the door open? You were the last one who was on the patio. You were on that call with your mom and drinking a glass of wine, were you not? No. Do not try to capitalize on the fact that I have a terrible memory. You went out for a smoke in the middle of the night. I found your ashtray there in the morning. But thanks to that, the house now looks like a beach. It does not matter who did it. You just need to make sure when my family arrives, you have cleaned the whole house. Now that I think about it, why should I be the only one to clean this house? I'll spend the money and hire an hourly maid. At this rate, I will not be able to start cooking later tonight. I need to start prepping for tomorrow. You know that your family is huge, so I will have to pull out all the stops. No, I forbid you to hire a maid. I already spent so much money on groceries. The least you can do is clean the house. What? You are being very unreasonable. Do you know how many things need to be cleaned? This house has three floors and it's very big. I can't clean it alone. And you even forced me to clean each room from the first to the third floor. You even asked to trim the grass in the garden. Isn't that too much? How can I do all that alone? If you don't hire a maid, at least come home and help me. We'll clean the house together, okay? I am tired after a full day of work. You really expect me to clean? You are the wife here. Oh, man. Helping a wife with housework is a very normal thing that every husband can do. Every day you don't have to do any work in the house, but today is a general cleaning of the entire house. You can't ask me to clean up alone in such an unreasonable way, do you understand? You are the one who wanted this dinner. You and my mom were the ones who wanted to have it so badly. So unless you want to call her to help you, then you better start cleaning. It's been a long time since our family has seen each other fully. I just want everyone to have a chance to gather and chat together. We are a family. You are truly a useless, idle person. That's why you came up with that bullshit idea. I'm already tired from working all day. I don't need to waste my precious time on that nonsense family meeting. Moreover, I had to spend a lot of money to buy groceries to prepare for the party. Food, fruits, desserts, wine, etc. Oh my god, what a waste of money and time. Why do you have such an attitude towards your own family? Why are those expenses called wasteful? It's all for your parents and your siblings, right? I never thought you would have such thoughts in your head. Of course, because it's not your money. That's my hard-earned money. And you are just spending it wastefully and do not know how to save or understand your husband's hardship. What? Do you know how long it's been since you've seen your parents? You don't even bother to call them anymore. I'm busy. I'm very, very busy. Understand? I have to go work all day. I don't have to sit at home and idle around and just cause trouble like you, understand? Cause trouble? I don't think that creating opportunities for family gatherings to increase affection is causing trouble. Your parents must miss us very much. I bet that. Okay, okay, whatever. You are such a troublesome person. Go ahead and clean up the house instead of sitting there and complaining about stupid, boring things like that. Okay then. I still decide to hire cleaning help. I can't clean it up myself. It's impossible. How dare you go against your husband? How dare you? I don't think there's anything against it. I'm just doing what I think makes sense. Let's just decide that and I'll find someone right now. I warn you, if you don't do what I say, I won't leave this alone. Hiring a maid is not allowed. Got it? Nope. You sure? Yep. I'm looking for a maid and they'll be here soon. Keep working and don't worry about anything. Damn it! I won't let you decide everything so easily. Hey, Joseph, answer me. Why is the main gate of our house locked? Did you lock it? Exactly. I'm the one who locked the gate. What? Why did you do that? So that no maid can sneak into the house and clean with you. <laughs> what? Are you crazy? Nope. I'm completely serious. 
I'm not kidding you. Please open the lock immediately. The maid I hired has arrived and she is already waiting in front of the gate. No way. I never agreed to let you hire a maid. So, no. Come on. This joke is not funny. I'm not kidding. This is the truth. What the heck? Things are not so bad for you to do that. I don't care. I already said, I don't agree with you hiring a maid like that. That would be a waste of my money. Tell her to go home and start cleaning the house for me yourself. That is your duty and responsibility. You must be crazy. I request you to open the gate for me immediately. Oh, you're angry. This is the price to pay when you have deliberately opposed your husband. What? Don't take things so seriously. Come on. Once again, don't ever be foolish enough to oppose me. I can punish you a hundred thousand times worse than this. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you losing your mind? The more you say, the more outrageous it is. Don't waste time talking nonsense. Focus on cleaning up. Let me know when you're done cleaning and I'll come back and unlock the gate for you. <laughs> no, no, babe. I seriously can't finish cleaning the house today. There are so many things that need to be done and I can't do it alone. Okay, if you can't finish it today, then tomorrow. Just keep working until you've finished cleaning the entire house and garden, and I'll come back and open the door for you. Today is Thursday, and my family arrives on Saturday. So you have more than one day to clean up. So you're not planning on going home tonight? No, I'll stay out tonight, until you finish cleaning up our messy house. I can't let the dirt in the house get into my nose. Oh my god, this is horrible. I'll keep sneezing like an idiot. So... Is everything clear? So where will you sleep tonight? Don't talk nonsense like that, Joseph. I'll sleep on my friend's house tonight. You don't have to worry about that. Your husband doesn't lack a place to sleep. <laughs> what? Are you serious? You choose to sleep outside and leave your wife at home to deal with this mess? Of course. It's all just to prepare for that bullshit family meeting you came up with. Oh my gosh. Wow. Unbelievable. Okay, everything is done. Concentrate on cleaning the house and don't complain about anything else. This is truly beyond my imagination. I never imagined my husband would behave like that. Wow, just... just a prank, right? Please tell me that. Shut up and wake up. There are no jokes going on here. Goodbye. Wait. Wait, Joseph! No way! Hey, Hannah. Are you there? Hey, mother-in-law. I told you many times that you can call me mom. How are you? Just spent the day cleaning. I am so excited to see you on Saturday. I've been wanting you to come to my house for ages now. I have made all of your favorites. You are a very good cook. I'm sure that I'm going to love it. Let me know when you guys are on the way. I have a few errands to run tomorrow. How is my son? I haven't gotten hold of him all evening. Huh. He's not coming home tonight. Joseph had an appointment to go out with friends tonight, so I was alone at home. Ugh, I know I am his mom and all, but that boy can be so dumb. He should be helping you prepare for this weekend. Why does he think that it's okay to hang out with his friends now? I don't know. Maybe because he doesn't want to clean everything up. The house is a bit messy right now, and there are a lot of things that need to be cleaned up. I suggest you hire an hourly maid to clean the house. It's the same for everyone now, Hannah. I can introduce you to a few people I know. They have the full human resources everywhere. Just contact them. I have also found a maid. Oh, that's good. Let's leave everything to the cleaning maid. You just need to prepare a few things for the party. I'll leave early to help you prepare for the party on Saturday. So don't worry about anything, my dear. But, uh, I don't know what to say. Hmm? Is something wrong? Tell me. There really is so much to clean up, Mom. Joseph asked me to clean up the dirty furniture from the first to the third floors, also clean up the cigarette butts on the porch and clean the floor, and he also wanted me to trim the plants in the garden, the neatest way. There are too many things and I can't do it all alone. So I offered to hire an hourly maid, or at least he had to come home and help me. That's right, it should be like that. So, what's the problem? But he absolutely did not allow me to hire a maid, and forced me to do everything by myself, from start to finish. He thinks spending money on hiring a maid is a waste. What? Are you telling the truth? I didn't think my son would have such stupid thoughts. 
Yes, and I strongly disagreed with Joseph's opinion. I still decided to hire a maid to clean the house. But the unthinkable happened. Joseph was very angry and thought I was opposing him. He returned home, locked the main gate from the outside, and prevented the maid from entering. And that was Joseph's way of punishing me for defying him. <sighs> what the heck? Seriously? Joseph, my son, did that to you? Yeah, I'm really having a hard time understanding this too. So now my son will sleep at his friend's house tonight and you'll be locked in the house and have to clean the entire house alone? Yes, that's right. You can't go out. So how are you going to buy food? Have you had dinner yet? Do you have food left in your house? Oh, don't worry, Mom. There's still cereal and fruit in the fridge. I've already eaten cereal for dinner tonight. Oh my god, what the hell is going on? I really don't understand what Joseph is doing. It's okay. Everything is fine. I will try to clean up quickly to prepare for my family gathering on Saturday. Wait, do you specifically know whose house Joseph will sleep over at? I mean, who is this friend? Um, I have no idea. Okay, I'll talk to him about this. Don't worry. He's not gonna make you cry while I'm still alive. Oh no, you do not have to. Mom, I think that he will think I came crying to you and he will be mad at me. I do not care if he gets mad or he cries. He's messed up. Feel free to do what you feel is best for the situation. You are his wife and he should support you at all times. He basically told me that it is a woman's duty to do the cleaning. Ugh, I did not raise him like that. I don't know who's getting into his head, but he better shake off that nonsense now. You are right. Anyway, I still need to clean up some things. I will talk to you tomorrow. Come on, rest now. You still have tomorrow. If you want, I can come early and help you with the setup. No, you do not have to do that for me. I can do it by myself, and I don't want to let you help that. Let me take a shower, then I will sleep. I am covered in so much dirt. Sleep well, my dear. I'll see you soon. Good night. Hey, how's it going? Have you finished cleaning our house yet? Oh, babe. Yesterday I tried my best and cleaned up the inside of the house, but the garden and patio will probably be cleaned up today. I'm exhausted right now, Joseph. Haha, <laughs> well done. Please continue to finish your work. I will return home and open the door for you after the house is sparkling clean. What? Are you really so determined? Sure. Wait, so where did you sleep last night? Whose house do you sleep at? I need to know about this because I'm still your wife. Oh, I hung out and slept over at Clara's house. Is there a problem? What? Really? Why would you spend the night at a woman's house when you're already married? So what? It's Clara, you know? We're close friends. I still comfortably go to Clara's house often, so that's why I can sleep over at her house. You know we're best friends. We've been best friends for five years. Moreover, she also treats me kindly, and she takes care of me thoughtfully, unlike you. No, Joseph. This is really a serious problem. I cannot agree with you spending the night at Clara's house at all. You should remember that you are already married, and you must respect your wife's feelings. This is beyond imagination. Come on. Don't make such a big deal of it. It seems like you're thinking too far ahead. Your actions force me to think like that, Joseph. I don't want this to happen again, understand? Now quickly return home and unlock the main gate for me immediately. Are you giving me orders? With a rude tone like that? Don't interpret the story that way. All right, you and I will talk about this later. For now, go to the supermarket and buy some more food to prepare for tomorrow's party. I will send you a list of items to buy later. No. Why do I have to buy those things? If you need to buy more groceries, quickly finish cleaning the house and go shopping yourself. At that time, I will return and open the gate for you. You can go wherever you want. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I cannot understand what you're thinking inside your head. Really? Because you're an idiot. A mere wife. How can you understand everything outside the house? Oh my god. Since when do you think like that about your wife? I am truly disappointed and hurt by your words and actions. Anyway, I can't talk to you anymore. I'm about to go shopping with Clara now. See you in the evening. Ah, I almost forgot. Clara will be at our family party tomorrow. Don't forget to add food for one person. What are you talking about? Why did you invite her over? This is a family party, so it is weird to invite an outsider to attend. Outsider? Clara is also considered a member of my family. She is my close friend and my parents both know her. 
And what is going on? You're going shopping with her? Are you kidding me? Do you know there are a lot of extra things to prepare? Instead of staying home and helping your wife, you chose to lock me in the house alone in this mess and sleep at your best friend's house. And now even go shopping with her? What the hell are you doing? It's easy to understand. You are the wife, and the wife's duty is to do everything for me. Let me remind you, you are the one who came up with the idea for this family meeting bullshit. So take care of it yourself. Oh my god. Wow. Nothing to say. So shut up and do your own duties. Clara is waiting for me and I have to drive now. Goodbye. Okay, do what you want. Morning, my dear. Morning, Mom. Tell me how everything is prepared and if there are any more problems, my daughter. I'm still cleaning up a few things. Maybe everything will be done tonight. You don't need to worry. Rest and prepare for tomorrow's trip. I'm very excited to see you again. Ah, oh, I'm on the way to your house. Your brother's driving and we left two hours ago. I think if there's no traffic jam, we'll arrive at your house within two hours. Huh, what? Isn't the plan for you to leave tomorrow? It's okay. A little change in plans is just a small thing. I want to spend more time with you two. I'll have more time with you guys and we can talk and confide. Ugh, I suggested the whole family go see a movie together. Or would it be more cozy to watch it at home? I've come up with a bunch of ideas for how our family can be closer together, honey. Yes, I am very excited about this. I have to quickly clean everything up before you guys get here. I will try my best. No, no, you don't need to do that. <laughs> Just relax. I'll come and prepare everything with you. But wait, has Joseph come home and opened the door for you yet? Not yet. And I already know where he slept yesterday. I know it's not strange, but this makes me think too much, Mom. Huh? Tell me everything. He went out to dinner and spent the night at Clara's house. I know they have been close friends for a long time, but now Joseph is married, and I am his wife. This is really difficult for me to accept. Clara? Really? Oh, Hannah. I understand how you're feeling right now. The truth is that it's very difficult to accept from a wife's perspective. And as a husband, you can't act like that. Kind of cheating. Yeah, I'm really a mess right now. So, has Joseph come home and unlocked the gate for you now? I called him and asked him to open the job immediately. I needed to go buy some more food. But he was busy shopping with Clara. I really don't understand what he is doing. Oh, what the heck? I thought he was supposed to return home this morning. But it felt like Joseph wasn't excited to see his parents and younger brother again. Oh, Mom. I don't know if I should say it, but... Just tell me everything, Hannah. He thinks this family meeting is useless and a waste of time. He criticized me many times because I was the one who came up with the idea for this party. What? Did my son have such an attitude? What kind of person is it? I also really don't understand his thoughts. He even invited Clara to the party, even though I expressed my opinion that I did not want outsiders to participate in the family party. That's for sure. I'd never agree with that opinion. But he insisted on bringing Clara to the party tomorrow, claiming that she was a part of the family. What? I really don't even like Clara at all because of her lack of politeness. Oh man, it seems like he doesn't need his parents anymore. How could Joseph spend time shopping with his friends but have a serious attitude when preparing to meet his parents again? For a long time, Joseph didn't even bother to call his parents to ask about their health. What an ungrateful child. Mom, just calm down. I don't think Joseph will be worse than that. I will contact him and ask Joseph to go back and unlock the gate before you guys arrive. Don't worry, Mom. No, don't do that. You don't need to contact Joseph. I'll find a way to open the door myself. I have to teach my son a lesson. Huh? What are you going to do, Mom? Don't worry. See you soon. I will quickly get justice for you, my dear. Oh, thank you, Mom. Hey, why are the locks not working? You are the one with the key. So why are you asking me? Stop calling me. I want to sleep. Hannah, did you change the locks? How did you do that? You do not want to know what I went through after you locked me in the house like some sort of animal. You should go back to hanging out with Clara. I changed the locks and you are not allowed in this house. You're joking, right? 
My family is arriving in a couple of hours. You have to let me in. Oh, so you didn't know. Your family has been here since noon today. And we had a really warm party at dinner. Oh my god, dad also brought a bottle of good wine and we toasted the party today. What? You must be kidding, right? No, I'm telling the truth. You can see their car in the yard, right? I see. But why? According to the plan, they don't arrive until tomorrow. Your mother said she wanted to spend more time with her children, so she decided to come a day early. Your family left early this morning. What the hell is going on? So why didn't anyone tell me? Why don't you call me back? Oh, you said you were busy shopping with Clara, your best friend, so I didn't want to bother you anymore. But you still have to inform me about this. Wait, how did they get into the house? Actually, I was going to call you to inform you about this change in schedule, but your mother said there was no need. She didn't want to see you after knowing what you did to me. She came and hired a locksmith herself to break the lock on the gate and enter the house. Which means the public lock has now been replaced and you cannot enter the house unless you have permission. Did you run over and cry and tell her everything? You're such a nuisance. Why do you always act like a child? I knew you would say that right away. How could I marry someone as troublesome as you? All you do is nag and gossip about everything to your mother-in-law. That's why you can never compare with Clara, how understanding she is. You are going over the limit. After what you did to me, I think I deserve an apology. But look at what you're doing. Criticizing and insulting me? Are you crazy? Apology? You must be delusional. Why should I apologize to an ugly, annoying old woman like you? I didn't do anything wrong. I just let you fulfill your duties as a wife. I didn't expect you to be so useless, even talkative and gossiping. I despise that. Hey, hey! Stop it! You are really going beyond the boundaries! My limit is you. How nice it would have been if I had married Clara before. She is so obedient and understands things a thousand times better than you. Can I swap now? Swap my wife? <laughs> Shut up! You are mentally insane! I am your wife. You must at least maintain a minimal attitude of respect for me. Ha! You don't deserve respect. Anyway, I don't have any need for that stupid family meeting. Tonight I will sleep at Clara's house. I don't need to go into that house anymore. Sure, go ahead. I'll be back tomorrow. Please open for me tomorrow morning. Otherwise, I won't leave you alone. Got it? What the heck is going on? Hannah, answer me right away. What's going on here? Oh, you're back already? Why are all my belongings out on the street? What the hell are you doing? Oh, I didn't do anything. Your parents are the ones who threw your junk out on the street. What? What crazy things are you talking about? Why did they throw all my belongings on the street like that? Why? You are officially kicked out from today. I can't accept the fact that I have a son like this. I didn't raise you to be like this. The bad version. What? Mom? It's you? It's Jennifer. I didn't expect you to still dare to call me Mom. What are you doing? Please open my door now. Your house? Which house is yours? Come on, Mom. I'm not kidding. Please open the door so I can bring my things in. This is a joke, right? It's really not funny at all. <laughs> are you confused? This house belongs to me and your father. We allowed you and your wife to live here. We did not give you this house. Don't take it for granted as yours. What? Okay, it's your house. So now open the gate for me. I'm your son Joseph, huh? No way. Your father and I have decided to cut ties with you and kick you out of the house. From now on, never call me mother again and pack your things and go live with Clara. What? Mom, why did you do that? I never taught you to be a bad husband who never cares about his wife. Why would you lock the door and lock Hannah in the house alone to clean up the mess? Why don't you have any responsibility to help her at all? Look at your dad. He always helps me with work, even though he used to have to work like you. I don't understand why you become like this. Just because of that, you kicked me out of the house. I'm very busy with work, and Hannah is a housewife. She has to fulfill her duties. You don't even care a bit about your parents. For several months, you didn't ask or care about your parents' health even a little bit. Did you know that your father just got sick? Is this how a son treats his parents? Even meeting your parents seems troublesome and a waste of time, but you can spend your free time going shopping with your best friends. How ridiculous. What, I thought you and dad were just at home, so it would be nothing. 
Why didn't you tell me that Dad was sick? I bet Hannah already told you about this, but you honestly don't care. What? I will never accept someone like you. An unfilial son. A bad husband. Oh my god. I feel ashamed for Hannah for being treated so poorly by my son. Calm down, Mom. You are being psychologically manipulated by Hannah. Everything is because she is making too much of a problem. Huh. Don't say such crazy things. Take your things and never show up at home again. I'm giving you a chance to be with your beloved Clara. Ah, Hannah has agreed to a divorce and a lawyer will contact you. What the heck? Divorce? Why did she do that all of a sudden? I've asked the detective to investigate. Everything you do and show is implying that you are having an affair with Clara. You even made it public. How can you tell your wife that you want to swap wives? Please complete the divorce proceedings and free Hannah. She is so pitiful. In fact, Clara is better than Hannah. She's much more understanding and obedient. So, come to your Clara. But first, get out of my house and prepare compensation for Hannah. You will be sued for adultery and mental abuse of her. Even though you are my son, what you did is completely unacceptable. What? Seriously? I can't be kicked out of the house. Mom, please. I will fix it. I will become the version you expect. Please forgive me, please. Your dad and I will sell this house and Hannah will move in with us. She will be my daughter. No one will be allowed to treat her so badly again. No, no way. Please calm down, Mom. I know I was wrong. Please forgive me. I promise I will make things right. It's too late. No, Mom. Please, I'm your oldest son. You cannot cut ties with me like this, Mom. Um, it's Hannah. Hannah, my wife, my darling. Please tell my mother to forgive me, please. I can't handle it if I get kicked out of the house. No, I just want to remind you to quickly complete the divorce procedure. Goodbye, and hope you are lucky. No, please! Afterwards, Joseph screamed at the door, begging to be let in and forgiven. He even took a rock and threw it at my house. Neighbors in the area found it annoying and called the police to arrest him. My husband's parents don't care about Joseph at all. I'm so lucky to have such good parents-in-law. I'm so grateful that they treat me like their own daughter. There is no distance between me and my mother-in-law. It was only later that the divorce proceedings were resolved because of Joseph's delay. He agreed to live at Clara's house, but she did not accept that he was cut off from his parents and had no assets. They argued constantly, and Joseph was forced to rent his own house. I moved to live with my husband's parents. From now on, I will take Joseph's place and take care of them in the best way possible.